It's the ancient city of an Arab kingdom. Today, I visit Petra. Today, I'm on an intrepid tour and we are going into the ancient city of Petra. Petra, it's a Greek name and it means rock and it's replaced the biblical name of Selah. So we headed out quite early this morning uh, before the heat set in because it's very hot here in Jordan. Uh, yep, the dogs are loving it. They love the sun and the heat, it seems. But uh, our bus took us to the entry here of Petra. Now we will go for quite a walk. Um, but it is cool because it's early morning. So we're setting off and this is what you will see. Amazing landscape and so many years old. Now I'll just tell you this is June so it's not their summer and it's not that crowded. So what you see here is not a crowd. The peak time that is crowded. So I'm happy I'm here now but as you walk through you'll see a lot of horses and donkeys. Um, of course that's a money-making thing they'll they'll get you to try and uh, <clears throat> buy some transport and you you might want that if you're a bit older or you've got bad feet or whatever and, they arrive to, and there's our uh, tour guide place, uh, great tour because, guide with intrepid uh, as has, as telling us the history of this inside, land uh, and so and, uh, interesting to look uh, to listen uh, to uh, uh, as we head Petra, our way Petra, into Petra. Again, means rocks So this place is renowned for its charm and the, uh, the cultural heritage that it has here. And uh, Petra, Petra achieves things that are so impressive as the Arabs, uh, they, they perfectly carve the city into these mountains. The ruins are approached from the east by a narrow gorge and here is the Sikh or the Wadi Ala Sikh. Uh, and it's um, the first thing you'll see before you hit the treasury. And the treasury is uh, actually a tomb and we'll get to that shortly. But as you walk through, you'll see a lot of, um, well, apart from people, <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of people dressed as characters of the times and um, oh well it you know it makes the place and it makes the day but yes it's quite a walk so make sure you take a hat sunscreen even an umbrella there's not a lot of shade uh, and as the, uh, the morning gets on it's of course going to get hotter so I warn you this is quite warm and remember we are only uh, in June I'm in Jordan and with your Intrepid you can visit Petra where I am right now. It's beautiful, come with me. And I'm not sure about you but I say as a solo traveller um, doing this with a group was fantastic and uh, I've just sped that up a bit here because it's such a long walk. It was probably an hour and a half or maybe two hours it took us to get to the treasury and uh, and then we went even further on from there but everyone loves a picture look at that it's these days it's all about the I um, uh, nearly forgot what it's got the selfie yes everyone loves a selfie 
Now I'll just show you here, these little um, cabooses, little buggies, they can take you in and out, only as far as the treasury. Um, and I think they were about 30 Australian dollars each way. And these two, they're getting remarried. <laughs> Why not? Well. A lot of arts and crafts along the way, if that's your thing. Um, good prices, heaps of jewellery. Well, a typical tourist, oh, you can say trap, but tourist area, let's say tourist area, because this is where the tourists come. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of things to buy along the way. But look at that rock, just amazing. Just amazing and so old. So as I said, we will hit the treasury and here we are. So this is where the main hub of the Petra is with, uh, you'll see camels, you'll see stalls for drinks and food and tables to sit on. Bit of shade here, by the way. Uh, there's the treasury you see right in front there. That's the tombs and uh, heaps of camels. If you want a camel, this is where you'll find them. They love it. And of course, they're all dressed up, all for the show, all for show and money, of course. And yes, before you ask, this is another UNESCO World Heritage Centre. So the treasury, why is it called the treasury? Well, it got its name from the Badoons who lived in the area in the 19th century and they thought the structure holds a hidden treasure. Therefore, it's the treasury. Bit of history, bit of trivia. Not only am I travel bug Sue, but anyway, I won't go on. Now almost opposite the theatre, you'll notice another set of steps that lead to a, a, a fine set of tomb facades cut into the cliffs above. Now these belong to the royal tombs and they are worth visiting, but it's a bit of a way and a bit of a trek. So make sure you've got good footwear and make sure you've got good feet. So um, to climb the plateau above the royal tombs, it's about an hour round trip past the urn tomb with its arched um, above and and look for the stairs and they are just after the three-story palace tomb if the vendor is at the top just ask him uh, how to sh and he'll show you the aerial view of the treasury which is fantastic one of the best uh, views one of the best photo opportunities you will get here in Petra and as you can see, uh, lots of cats, lots of cats in Petra, just like many other towns, but I just call them the Petra cats, I guess. And here you can see the long walk above those tombs to get to that wonderful, wonderful view.
So we saw a lot of cats, of course, and dogs as we came in earlier. And here are more puppies. So we just sat down, we found some shade, and we thought we'd just sit down for a moment because it's quite hot, and um, came across a little litter of puppies ready for mummy to feed them. And so while the treasury is very easily accessible, the monastery is located far out and high up. So it's a bit of a trek also to get to. There's lots of different treks you can go on here in Petra. And it's a bit of a hike to get to it. So whichever direction you approach, um, you really need to uh, get ready to get to the monastery. But if you do get there, your efforts will pay off because the surrounding areas are just absolutely spectacular. And here is an old Petra church that uh, thankfully had some covering <laughs> from, from the sun. Don't forget your umbrella, I'm telling you now. I did. Don't forget it. But this is wonderful to look at all this um, engraved stone of the original church. So we stopped for lunch at one of the restaurants. Um, it was quite relaxing. It was under cover, like it had shade, which was great. Food was nice, reasonably priced for a tourist attraction. And now it's time to make our way back to the treasury. I'm uh, on my own. It's really, really hot. Those camels are looking pretty, um, pretty good. And even the, the donkeys. Uh, which got loose. I watched this. There was a bit of commotion going on, a bit of entertainment, but uh, a few donkeys got loose. So now they're after them. See what happens. This is my donkey. I'm on a donkey. It's pretty slow. That's my donkey. Huh? <laughs> and I've got a young young boy behind me and he's on another donkey. So I'm just I just didn't rip a donkey off and start going, you know. Oh no actually he's not on a donkey, he's just walking. <laughs> And you know 
know where you travel somewhere for the day and it seems a long way to get there so when you go back it's always quicker well not this this is the other way around this felt like five times longer going back because it was in the dead heat of the day and my legs were going to give away but mind you i have a bad leg at the moment um and i didn't have any anti-inflammatories and the heat and everything oh my god Well, I've got the donkey back. And um, young boy here is very, very fit, I think, because he's been running the whole time. And um, he's got me back to where I'm going. Got a few stairs, because I don't think people Finish. agree with it. Yeah, thank you. People are still walking in and they're also walking out. I'm walking out. What a big day. We left pretty early. <laughs> and I hate to do this in um, peak peak time because it would be packed. A bit like Venice in the, in the summer. But definitely, if you come to Jordan, make sure that you see the beautiful Petra because it's really worth it and you'll see nothing like it in the world anywhere. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful journey into the beautiful Petra. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And you'll see more of these little day tours and other tours I've done. I'm Travel Bug Sue. Thanks for watching.